Welcome to part two. In this, we'll try to understand how to make a basic collar um, in Clo. We'll learn some tools and we'll have fun. Okay. So uh, I have already like taken like few steps. It's a three step process. Okay. So let's open Clo and let's see how do you get a basic collar done. All right. So I've opened my Clo. Let's go to library. Okay. And let's bring a basic uh, so I have already I already have an avatar okay so let me shift it here let's bring this so you can see you have I have already have an avatar I have created this basic set right now I need to um, create a caller for this okay a uh, simple task let's do this how do I do this so let's go back to our presentation and let's see so step one is you need some measurements right so you need to measure the uh, the neck of the back and the front okay and you need to add here and make a total okay so let's do that uh so to if you directly click here right you can see the measurement okay like it's 4.561 and if you shift and you select this also so it will add okay so it is 7.887 so 7.9 okay so let's go back here again. So this total value is going to be 7.9. Okay. Perfect. Now let's go to the step two. The step two is uh, let's create some patterns. Okay. So let's go back here. Um, let's make a simple rectangle here. I'll make it a little bigger, right? So that like it doesn't create issues. Okay. Now, uh, Let's first measure, mark B, okay? So B is a simple point. We can mark it here. Let's, if you want, you can use this annotation, right? And just type here uh, B. So this is done. Moving it out. Okay, so this is the B point, right? Now it says that from B to D, it, okay, it says that A to B is three inches, right? So you can just make a uh, point here, three inches. By the way, this is not a hard and fast rule, so you can take it on your own way, right? So you don't need, uh, like, suppose you want a 4 inch, right? That's fine, perfectly fine. So we'll go to uh, this tool called Add Point and Split Line. Right click and make it uh, 3. So let's quickly change it to 3 inches. Okay, good. Okay, so now you see that. Okay, I can turn on the measurements from I and I can just go here, three inches. Okay, now next, B to C. Okay, B to C is total neck measurement. So the total neck measurement was 7.9. I hope you remember. So let's do it again. And now I'm going to do it 7.9. Okay, so this is, okay, done. So this is 7.9. So this point will be C, right? So again, we can mark it. And we can say this point is equals to C. Okay. And we can just move this down here. Okay. Done. Then uh, it is B to D. Center back to shoulder mark for notch. Center back to shoulders. Okay. So normally you will see like let's again go back here. Uh, center back to neck okay center front to neck okay so these were the values so center back to shoulders okay so what we are going to do is we are going to quickly mark this point d and then we are going to move it forward okay so remember okay so what you are do, like what you are making the pattern right now here is you are making a pattern we are making half of the pattern okay so we are making a pattern from this point to this point and then this point to this point so logically from b to C will be like this pattern, okay, like this value, okay. So what is the back value? Let's quickly see that it was. Uh, if you click here, edit pattern. It's three point three two seven, okay. So three point three, right? So let's make it a point three point three. So again, let's go here. Right click, three point three. We are going to do it, right? Three point three. Okay, good to go. All right. Okay, so now we have made this and the last step is you have to make few other adjustments, okay? So, first, 
uh, hold it. Yeah. Okay. So the first is you need to make this A to F, right? So it says that mark E half inch from C. Let's let's make the E first, right? Half inch from C. So let's go to E. Let's come here. Let's mark half inch, 0 0.5. Uh, all the values that I'm inserting is, is in inches, okay? So always remember that. Okay, so this is the 0.5 line that I've done. Uh, okay, sorry. Let's come here again. Then mark, uh, then draw a curved line from E bending with D, okay? So let's do that. Uh, so we are going to draw a line, okay? From this point to this point and just make it curve let's make it edit curvature and now you will be like okay how much curve do i need to give just just use your basic instincts okay that's perfectly fine uh wait let me present it again okay so just use the basics okay so for example if you feel like okay it's going towards here like this so how it how we can do this right uh so let's see then we can quickly create a go to edit pattern. We can select this, right? And you can just see these uh, two blue lines. Okay. Let's select this and like this. And then you can select this also. Internal line one. And then you can also adjust this. Okay. This is good to go. Now done that. Next piece is a square align uh, from A. Uh, passing one inch or more from the C. Okay, so this C, like one inch. You can, like, look, this is not a hard and fast rule. You can make it whatever you like, okay? But for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an internal line. And I'm just going to draw it like this, okay? And then I'm also going to make a line from this point. I'm going to double click on this. And then from this point, I'm going to make one inch. Right now, I'm just following the instructions, okay? I just want to show you this, but I have a... I don't do it like this, okay? I don't do, make things like this. And from this point, I can again draw a line from touching this, okay? So if you will go back here, F to E, right? If you want to mark, you can mark it, but you, uh, you get my point, right? So this is also done. Now, the next piece is draw a line E to F, which we have also created. Draw a green line and a cut the color from the paper. Okay, cool. We don't need this. Okay. So, look, right now, uh, what, uh, like, this has done, uh, like, this is a simple fold line, okay, where your collar is going to get fold from. Okay. So, you can decide based on it, like, how much do you want? Okay. What I am going to do, uh, mark half inch from C. Okay. So, what I am going to do, I am just going to draw, like, kind of, um, let me see. I am going to draw it one point three, okay? All right, and then I can quickly again draw internal line, like from here to C, okay? Then I can make this curve. And this is going to basically help me to fold the collar, okay? Uh, is it good? Is it bad? I think it is bad. Let's 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 not move, make it move it more from here. Okay, so let's put it down a little bit. Yeah, so this is too much. Let's keep it straight. Okay, let's also keep it down. Okay, perfect. Looks nice. Okay, so we have made our collar. Okay, now it's time to trace. Let's go to the trace tool. Let's trace everything. Okay. Uh this point and then this line this line this line i think done traces pattern so now you have your collar okay you can remove whatever the thing that you feel extra so i'll just remove this rest i think is fine okay nothing is extra okay great so now you have this collar okay uh again if you select this you can see 5.953 okay which is okay uh the total width, the total length of this was 5.9, it's 5.93. And that is okay, works. So for the time being, now let's stitch this pattern, okay? 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to quickly first freeze this pattern. Otherwise, it's going to fall, right? Now let's start stitching this pattern. So first, let's see which is the back side of the fabric. Yeah. So I'm going to reverse it, right? And I'm going to move it. And let's also move it here. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's stitch this with this pattern, okay? So, we can also make one more pattern. We can just control C and control V this, okay? Control C and control V like this. We'll merge it later, okay? Just give me some time, we'll merge it. And this is the pattern. Uh, let's rotate it. Okay. But the problem here is like this pattern is like in the wrong face, right? So we can just do flip normal. Okay. Good to go. Um, so the dark back side is here. That looks amazing. And now we can just turn off. We can just use thick texture again. Okay. Let's stitch it. So how do I stitch it? I'm going to stitch this pattern first. Okay. With this. So let's go to the free stitching. From here. Uh, yeah. Yeah this right and from here to this is done and now the remaining are with this okay so just remember where i'm moving i'm moving from the shoulders towards the i'm moving from shoulders towards the center front this is center front right so again here also i'm going to do the same so from here to perfect so this is stitched uh and now let's stitch this pattern also so first thing i'm from the back towards the and from here towards this right so this is let's see is this correct it's not correct let's control z this let's try to stitch it again okay i can do one more one more thing okay i can select this and i can just do right click reverse sewing so this is correct now okay second i can also then again i'm moving from towards the center scene let's see from here, there. Let me give an example. From this, sorry, from this to this. First this and then in place. Now this is correct. Okay, great. So we have stitched the collar. Let's select this and this. And we can also merge this collar, right? Uh, but we'll merge it. Like Just give me some time. I'll just merge it. And you can select this line. Select this line. Select this line. Select this line. Right click. And merge. Great, the pattern is also merged. I will freeze my this pattern. Okay, I don't want to get issues. So let's right click and freeze. And I'm going to strengthen this pattern also. Strengthen. Okay, now let's play the simulation. Perfect, your call is stitched, right? Now I've quickly stopped it. Now the next thing is I'm going to use the fold angle to fold this. Okay, let's play this again and use this to fold this again let's play this again perfect great this collar looks nice right click and unstrengthen let's play this again and voila you have a really nice collar okay and if it if something is not working again I strengthen it okay so that will become a little better and improve it right and then finally you can unstrengthen it so perfect this is how you make a really nice collar and uh last thing uh if you want to do a collar stand also you can put a collar stand also that's perfectly fine but look guys i think you can do this okay anyone who has any understanding of uh this can do this so now the last thing is uh that pattern making takes time okay it is a time consuming activity right it's going to take time that's okay that's why i said take the easy thing okay take the easy take the easy steps first okay then you take the difficult steps so take your time finish it nicely okay and uh, if you have like just like you can put it on your drive and just comment it right maybe i can help you uh with something okay 
So great. So this is how you do pattern making. Now you need to take note bigger challenges for you from the book and need to keep going. Okay. Now the next is next is nothing. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I think we are good to go. So that's all, guys. I hope that this was informative and you learned something. Please just don't watch. Try to practice. That's the best thing. Okay. I hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye bye. And if you want, if you want like really great, amazing course structure with the videos and all, you can check out my course. Bye bye. And take care.